Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is Cheng here. So this time, uh, one thousand eight hundred and three. Count pairs with x or in the range. Okay, so this one, it's the description is pretty uh, simple. Which uh, you're given like a array of integers, right? And then also two integers, low and high, and you need to return the number of nice pairs. So a nice pair is a pair whose x or is been is between uh, low and high, right? So for example, we have number we have these four numbers, and the range is uh, just between two and six, and the pairs we have is is six. Basically, we have six mm, total nice pairs. We have 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and the XOR is this 5, 3, 6, and then 1, 3, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 3. Right. Yeah, I mean, the description is pretty straightforward, and the constraint is, constraints is like the, uh, I think it's pretty much 10 to the power of 5, or 2, two times 10 to the, to the power of, of 4, right? Mm. I mean, a brutal force way, of course, is we try to calculate all the all the pairs, right? And then we do x or on each pair, and we compare, right? But obviously, with that uh, brutal force, this is gonna be an n square time complexity, right? And with this kind of constraints, I believe it will TLE, right? I mean, if it's, if it's like we can solve it with a brutal force, this wouldn't be a a hard problem, right? So how can we improve the performance, right? Well, you know, usually, you know, when we have like this kind of X or uh, problem, and we are we're given like the, the names here, a common solution for this kind of problem is by using a try, right? Basically a, a, a tree structure where on each node, there's only one, uh, only two, uh, two child nodes. Basically, it's either either 0 or 1. Right? Basically, you know, we, we build this, this num. We build, we use all the numbers to build the uh, build all the uh, to build this try structure. And then in that case, right, since the nums range is also also 2 to the power, I'm sorry, 2 times 10 to the power of 4. So actually, I think for this one, maybe we can, this, I think, I think 2 to the power of 15 should be enough. Basically, you know, for each of the numbers, we can just simply loop, loop through uh, 15 bits, right, to calculate, to find the, uh, to find the numbers, right, to find, to find the numbers that uh, has this x or that satisfy this current uh, this uh, condition here, right? And how can we ut uh, utilize this try structure to help us calculate that? You know, basically, you know, so when we create this try structure, you know, uh, we uh, for each each of the bits, right? We create this kind of a node either have zero or or one, and we on each of the node we also count a we're also going to have like a count properties to, to tell us like how many uh, how many numbers have this uh, have this number have this a uh, node has this kind of uh, value so basically this one could be uh, we have two and then we have three which means that you know at this kind of bits lo location there are like two numbers has value zero and there are like three there are like three numbers has value one, right? And let's assume we just build the a, a tree a tri structure with this kind of property, right? And every time, let's say we have like a numbers here, right? And we have this tri have this a tree structure. Mm. And then we have this kind of low and low and high, right? So assuming you know. We only take one numbers, and we uh we can use this this tree structure to calculate how many numbers, how many numbers uh 
after doing this XOR with the current number uh, will be smaller than this high than this threshold. All right, so which means that you know, let's say we have like this uh, limits, so I call it the limits. So let's say the limit is like this, right? I'm just giving you, giving you like an example. Let's say the limit is one zero, uh, one 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 zero, right? And then the numbers, so the current number is like the, uh, um, I'm just maybe zero zero, uh, one one zero one. Okay. So basically, the the limit is the the limit is the one we're trying to 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 compare, and the number is the current number, and then we have this kind of like a, the tree, the try structure. And how can we use these three things to find all the numbers, right? All the the numbers in the in the current tree that will have the uh, x or with the with the num who is smaller than limits, right? So first thing we need to be to notice that you know in order to make the x or right the end result of, of x or smaller than the limit the only poss possibilities is that we we have to somehow change the one to uh, to zero right that's the only that's the only only way we can make the the x or smaller than the limit it could be it could be any of of the ones here Right. That's why you know when we call do a do a count, you know we start from the leftmost uh, bits, and then basically, and then we'll basically we'll use this number to find the uh, the total count of the of the nodes that who has the the same value as the number here. So why is that? Because let's say for example, right? So the number the number uh, is zero, right? So in order to to change th this this one to zero, we need uh what do we need? We need another zero, which is the same as this one, right? Because only then you know the x zero x or zero will be will be zero, right? That's why you know let's say we have three. We have three numbers in the in the try, whose uh at this current lo location the the value, I mean the value is zero, right? That's why you know we have three. Basically, we have an answer, right? Then it's gonna be a three in this case. Basically, it means that we have three numbers uh, at this location, right? Who who has the value equals to zero? Because zero and then zero x or zero will become to zero, right? And then for that, you know, we are we're we're sure that you know the actual result will be definitely smaller than than the limit okay and after that right we should we shouldn't go uh we shouldn't follow th this path basically it means that okay we have we have already know like how many numbers uh in this in this tr uh, in the tree structure uh who is smaller than the limit uh by uh By changing this the first one into zero, right, and then what are the the remaining numbers we need to look for basically, and then it means that we have to look, check the the check how many numbers in the try can f can change the second one into zero, right? So which means that you know we have to somehow find the numbers in the in the in the try in the tree structure who's uh, who has this one zero a zero something right because now we are trying to sorry uh one zero one one something right because you know the number the, the numbers uh the we have the numbers the 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 bit value of this number is one you know to in order to change the the result from one to zero, we have to find another one, right? In in the try. So basically, you know, now we're trying to find in the in the in the tree structure how many numbers, uh, 
whose the th whose third uh, bit is one, while the previously two are are one and zero, right? Because you know, otherwise, you know, if we don't follow the same pattern as the as this one, right? I mean, the uh, first, you know, we don't want to do the zero because you know we have already uh, count the zero ones, right? And then for for second one, you know, we we cannot we cannot uh, allow this one to be to be one. Right, because otherwise, you know, this one will definitely be greater uh, than the limits after doing the x world with the number here. So that's why you know the second one has to be zero, and then the third one is the one we can, uh, we can, we can make the change, right? So that you know, so that we can uh, make this one into uh, become zero. That's why you know, the second one actually we're looking for uh, how many numbers. Uh, in the in this tree structure, who has the value one zero and and one, right? And then after the after this one, right? Basically, will be will will change this one to to zero, and then we'll find this one to one, right? Because now uh, we're 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 saying that you know after finding the the numbers that can flip. This the second one into zero. Now we need to find the how many numbers can flip the third one into zero, right? To be to do that, we have to basically make sure the first three re results are uh, aligned with the limit, which is one zero one. And given this num number here, so we are looking for one zero zero, right? And then this 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 one is also one. So if we continue doing this, right, and then we can basically loop through as long as we can find the count for each of the bits, then we can summarize those those answers together, and then we get all the numbers uh, who uh, currently in this in this tree structure uh, who will have the uh, the x or result smaller than limits, right? And so that's that. And how about this between low and high here, right? So as since we have we have already defined this function that can give us the the total count of of the numbers, that can give us the uh, can have the the x or strictly smaller than the limit, right? We simply we can simply do a uh, this helper functions. I call it helper functions with this uh, high. Uh, plus one, right, and then minus helper of of low, right. So this high plus one means that you know, basically we find any other numbers who is smaller than the high plus one, which is the uh, which def which uh, the same as the uh, smaller or e or equal, and then we do we subtract the any number who is strictly smaller than low, right? That will give us the, the range between the low and high, right? And lastly, you know, since we, we don't want to uh, count the number itself, right? Let's say we are at four here, you know, or we're at, or we're at seven here, you know, we don't want to count seven when, when we calculate this uh, in these three structures. So what we can do is that we can, for each of the numbers here, you know, we calculate, we call the helper functions before inserting this number in, into the tree structure. And that's gonna be the uh, the basic idea here, right? I know this, and then I know this part is a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, confusing. Uh, how about I, st I start coding, and I'll try to explain a little, bit, a little bit more. Uh, while I'm writing the code. So to build the try structure, uh, we need a node here, right? So and then we have like uh, two properties. So the first one is the, the child, right? None and none. And then self.count equals to zero. So I, I define this one to none because this will help uh, help me uh, to easily check if if we should continue or not. Okay. 
So basically, this one, the first one, represents the the node who has the value of zero on this current uh, position. The second one means the the node who has the who has a one, the value one in this on this current location. And then we need the, we need the root node uh, in the main function here. And then I'm going to define like two uh, helper functions. The first one is insert. So I'm going to insert nums here, right? So your current equals to root. And then for i in range of 15 uh, minus 1 minus 1, right? Again, right? Since the uh, since in the constraints is telling us that you know the biggest number we ever have is like 10 to the power of 4, so 15 should be enough. And then we have bit, right? So the bit is going to be the num mm, uh, do this i, and then we do an end of 1. Right. Basically, if not current dot uh, children dot bit, right? If this one doesn't exist, we 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 uh we create this uh, node equals to node, right? And then we increase the count, right? By one, and then we uh, update. We moving, we move forward with the current node, right? Okay, cool. So that's how we insert this a uh, number into the into this try structure. And then the next one is basically the uh, I probably can call it count smaller. So we have a number, the and then we have a limit, right? And then we have an answer equals zero. So I'll so and for each of the numbers, right? I mean I'll implement this count smaller later. So basically for each of the numbers here, you know, first we uh we 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 count, we count a smaller of the number, and then we have a we have a high plus one, right? And then we subtract the uh count smaller num of of low, right? Like I said, it's how we uh, do the, the range search, and then only only that only after doing this uh, count here, we insert this number into the into the try, so that we'll never uh, count the number itself, right? When we do this count smaller, and then when we for each of the numbers here, right? For each of the number, uh, how can we find all the count, right? All the number number counts who is smaller, whose x or was smaller than than this limit, right? So again, we're gonna have like the root, and we have the answer equal to zero. Same thing, right? For for the range from the 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 leftmost So we're gonna we need we're gonna need two bits, right? So like I, I show you guys, you know, the first one is the number bit, which is gonna be the num, right? And and one. And then we have a limit bit, right? Similarly we have a limit and and one, right? So like I said, you know, the only the only way we can uh, make the the x were smaller than the limit is by uh by changing the the one into zero, which means that you know we only so we check if the limit bit is one. So only this one, only this one can potentially give us a smaller x or result, right? That's why you know we're gonna check if the current dot uh, in the in the current try the tree structure, if we have a number number bit. If it is, then we add this one to the to the final answer, right? Dot. We add the count, and so here. So why is that? So like I said, you know, we have we have one zero, uh, one 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 zero. So this is the this is the limit, right? And then we we have a number. Number is what? Let's say the number I remember is zero zero one one zero one. 
right? Like I said, you know, to be able to make to change the current limit bits from one to zero, we need the same value as this in the current number bit, so that you know, because you know, a value x or value equal to zero, right? That's why you know, I use the same bit value to find uh, the count in the in the in this tree structure, and then that's. Now I know, okay, so there are like this number of, this count of numbers that can give us a zero, right, at the current bit, right? And then after that, right, after that, we need to switch it back to the to original one, which means that we have to do a num bit, do a uh, x or one. So here it means that, you know, after finding the uh, the numbers, after finding the uh, the numbers, of this one, we have to make sure uh, the, the the result, you know, the bit result will be the same, actually will be one, right? So that we can continue to search the, the, the remaining the remaining possible numbers. And how can we make sure the actual result is, is one, right? So we have a num bit, right? So basically, so num bit, X or th this one, right? Num bit and the X or X or one equals to one, right? So basically, th this one I'm just I'm doing this to to make sure you know. After doing this, right, our our processed numbers, our our processed bits, are aligned with this limit bit, which is one. Right. Else, right. Else means that the, the current limit bit is zero. For example, this one, right. So if that's the case, you know, we have to make sure the we have the node who has the who is the same as the number, because we want to uh, maintain the same the same like uh, the same bit value, right. That's why you know we have the current equals to current dot children dot num bit because only then this num bit x or num bit will will be zero, which will be the same as the limits, right? So basically, so what I'm doing here is that every time, every time after processing a, a limit a bit limit sorry a bit values, I'm I'm trying I'm trying to make sure you know. The process, to, the process, the tree structure aligned with the uh, with the limit bit, right? So if the limit bit is one, I I want I want to make I want to follow this li li the limit bit, you know, by uh, by changing by by making sure I can go to the, the other uh, node so that you know the num the num bit and the next and this number. X or will be the will be one same same thing for this zero here right when the lim the limit bit is zero I want to make sure you know I'm also following the 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 limits bit value right mm. and then here is that you know the uh, only when the limit bit is one that's then it's possible for us to find a smaller number, right? By by checking if there's any number, uh, any number who has the current uh, bit value, uh, is the same as the num num bit. Okay. Yeah, and then here and in the end, I think we just need to return the answer. Right. Yeah, I think that's it. Right. So if I run the code, oh, sorry. I think I I, I miss. I still miss one one part. So basically, if the current, if not current, we simply break. Right. Because you know, let's say if there's no. If for some reason we we cannot we cannot keep the same. Uh, the same bit value as as a limit, right? That's that's the that's when we need to stop. 
it doesn't really matter if it's zero or one, as long as we cannot uh, keep the same bit value as, as a limit, and that's when we need to stop. Because for example, you know, if for example, if uh, for zeros, if we cannot find any a, any number that can make the x or equals to one, it means that you know, uh, and there's no more uh, numbers that we need to look for because all the numbers they are they're all like starting with zero, right? Which means that we have already count that. And for example, if for for the the limit bit equals to zero case, you know. If we cannot find like any numbers whose value is zero, right? We, we uh, which means that you know all the numbers they are they're all having the at having one at this at this bit position. It means that all the numbers will be greater uh, than the limit, right? After doing the, after doing the XOR with the number, and that's that's when we also need to, to break. So that's why I simply do a if check here. So whenever there's the current is it's none, we break. That's why I initiate everything with, with none, right? And yeah, so I think if I run the code, this should work, right? Accept, submit. Yeah, so, and so how about time, time complexity? Right, so for this one, we have, uh, this is n, right? So we have an n, and inside the for loop, to count the smaller ones, we have, this is 15, right? Fifteen. If for each time we do a 15 and then we do a plus insert, right? I think this is another like 15, right? Because to insert, we also loop to, uh, 15 times, right? So I think that's that's a total time complexity, I would say, right? And Yeah, actually, this is more than that. Basically, you no, know, since we counted twice, right? So this is like fifteen plus fifteen, actually, and then plus fifteen. Yeah, because we counted twice. So each so each time is fifteen, uh, fifteen loop, right? And then another fifteen, and the insert is another fifteen. Cool. Yeah, I think that's it, right? I mean, just to recap, right? To solve this kind of X or problem, you know, we usually use a try structure, right? Where uh, each node will only have either a zero, zero node or or one node, right? And then we, uh, when we build the, the try structure, right? We also uh, count, uh, put like a count properties at each node. So that you know, when we calculate the uh, the smaller, uh, given this num number, con kind of smaller numbers that, uh, given this uh, a current number and the limit, we uh, we loop through from the leftmost position, right, and then like I said, we. The only time it's possible that we can find have a smaller number is that only when this limit bit is is equal to one, right. And to be able to make this this uh, one to become the zero, we need the, we need the two same. We need the two uh, equal a bit value from the number based on the number bit. That's why we use the same number bit to find the count in this try structure. And after doing that, right, after doing that, we need to go back to the original original like uh, limit the limit bit so that we can continue search. That's why, you know, we use this kind of num, num bit uh, XOR here, right? So that, you know, here we have a num bit XOR, num bit, and then XOR one, right? This one we will equal to one. This one is the same as the limit bit, right? Similarly for this one, right? So this one we have num bit, X or uh, num bit 
equals to zero. Okay. Because only only then we can only then we can make sure you know we are counting we are make we're counting the new numbers, right? Now because you know okay sorry about the repeating this this thing one more time basically you know let's say we have one zero one 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 zero and the number is zero zero one. One zero one, right? So let's say after flipping the the first uh, value, which we which means that we need a zero, right? In the in this in this tree structure, right? And if we don't flip the numbers, which means that if we don't search a uh, node one, in, and if we keep the zero here, you know, it doesn't really matter how we search the remaining ones. Actually, we 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 will always search. We always a pre a. Re, uh, repeating, re re I mean, double count the number we have already counted because if we don't search it, it means that we are counting the zeros, right? So any numbers, it doesn't really matter how, the bit value after the, this one, right? Since we have already count this this zero ones, right? If we're still using the zeros, you know, if we're still counting the the remaining tri structures, it means that we are like we're counting the numbers based on the, this zero, right? Which is wrong. That's why you know we have to uh, switch it back to one. Yeah, and yeah. Similarly for this zero, for this uh, limit equals zero case, which means that we there's no way we can make this bit smaller. That's why we have to keep this one at zero, and we cannot have have one in this case, right? Because if it is one, like I said. It's it's gonna be a gonna be a, a a greater number than the limits. <sighs> yeah, I think I have already talked uh, too much for this problem. Yeah, I'll just stop here. <laughs> cool. All right. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and stay tuned. See you guys soon. Bye bye.